Hello everyone, hello my viewers, you are welcome to today's um, topic on my Fullest Generator training series. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, DC motors and AC motors. So what you are seeing on the screen is just different kinds of electric motors that does different kinds of work. So if you are constructing your Fullest Generator, be mindful of the electric motor you are using in rotating your the alternator. Please, before we go to the video, um, before I go to the explanation, please, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe and press the bell notification button so you can see all my videos, which I post from time to time, which I release from time to time. So please subscribe, press the bell notification so you can see all my videos and so you can learn how to build your fully generator and so as you can uh, build your one by yourself so now let's go deep this kind of motor which you see here is called the trend mill motor the trend mill motor as you can see you have to feed it up with 180 volts 180 volts for this thing to begin spinning at the rate of 4000 rpm the horsepower of this particular motor is 1.5 horsepower. So any device which you are hooking it up, on this device you must be ready to use multiples of batteries to power this device because it uses a DC voltage. A DC voltage of about 180 volts. So now we are going to do a test. So we'll connect it with the battery so you can see the rotation of this particular motor. So we are going to power it up with a 12 volt battery. Here's the 12 volt battery. We are going to power it up with a 12 volt battery. As you can see, here's a 12 volt battery. I'm going to power it up now so you can, you can see how it spins. So as you can see, this battery here. This is the minus and the negative. You can see if I spark it, you can see the spark. So let's let's power it up and see. So as you can see, I've connected the the negative wire down to the negative lead of the alternator. So let's put in the in the red the positive. So, as you can see from this um, trend mill motor, this trend mill motor now, if you are to use a perfect um, trend mill motor, this battery is a 12 volt battery. So, you need multiple batteries so that it can reach 180 volt for you to be able to power up this trend mill motor, which you are seeing right here. So, this kind of motor. Um, probably if you have a multiples of batteries you can connect it you can connect it to this kind of trend mill motor so you can spin your alternator to be able to produce light or there is a better way in which you can do it you can run this battery to an inverter then from an inverter you use a diode then from the diode it has to be inserted inside a a bridge rec um, sorry it has to be inserted into a voltage controller so it can reduce the 220 dc volt to become 180 dc volt so that this machine can power up with just one battery so that is the trick so also here we have a dc motor as you can see here is a dc motor a 12 volt dc motor here is a 12 volt dc motor is specific is specifically built for um 12 volt one horsepower 3000 rpm i'm going to test it with a battery also so you can see the speed of this particular of this particular motor so let's um, insert the lead let's insert the lead on the positive on the negative 
the negative part and we'll insert the positive so um, this machine is, is going to spin heavily so I have to just take it. as you can see is already so this 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 particular machine has a very high horsepower that can spin your one kva two kva generator and probably 2.5 kva generator so this machine this um dc motor can spin it up for you it has been tested it has been um, used in most of my um, ones which I've done and here also let me do a quick one here also as you can see here is another kind of motor it is a starter motor it is not advisable that you use this kind of motor to power up your foilless generator it is not advisable so please this one consumes a lot of amps it consumes close to 400 amps to no consume up to 300 amps to 400 amps so this is for a dc motor starter a starter for pigeot for pigeot motor so please it is not advisable you use this kind of motor to power up your foliage generator and here also is another kind of um, electric motor here is a three-phase electric motor you have to feed it up with um, 120 volts i uh, sorry 220 volts to begin your rotation and the easiest way you can get your 220 volts is to connect your battery to an inverter that is going to power this up so you use capacitor for the connection my purpose of doing this video is to show you a list of different kinds of motors there are other kinds of motor like this one also is another kind of motor is another kind of motor is another kind of, here is a single face kind of motor that requires 220 volts is for a project so my aim of doing this video is to show you different kinds of motors that you that you yourself you're going to make a decision to know the one to use to operate your foliage generator so if you know this video has been helpful please do subscribe press the bell notification subscribe press the bell notification so you can see all my videos I release videos from time to time so please do subscribe so you can see my videos which I post thanks for watching this video see you in my next video thank you